first off is Charles J. Then just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to sign Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have Turk me. What it do, what it do, it's 903 Boxing, I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, this is my reaction to Javante Davis versus Ryan Garcia press conference in New York City, man. Let's get to the shit. And by the way, this is not a professional uh, analysis. This ain't a professional, um, this ain't no professional speculation or none of that shit. Um, I just got a lot of shit to talk. But before I can ever talk shit, I got a lot of shit to talk. Yeah, this is this damn near finna be a roast session. But before I can roast anything, Coach Cap, salute to you, man. Salute to you, man. Listen, I want to make something very clear. Uh, I fucks with Tank, bro. I really am a fan of Tank. I'm, I'm more of a fan of Devin, though. I gotta be honest. I just, Devin, yeah, I just, I, I just, I just fuck with him a little harder. But it's nothing against Tank, and I just think Devin will win that fight, but it's a tough fight. And I think it's the second biggest fight in boxing. I think Devin versus Tank is the second biggest fight in boxing behind Earl Spence versus Tank Crawford. But anyway, so I am a fan of Tank. I just, you know, but we're going to get to that. But Coach Calvin, you said some shit to make the hair on the back of my goddamn neck stand up. You said some shit that made me uh, reflect on some shit. Uh, damn. Boy, I'm telling you something. Boy, if I had had somebody like you in my life as a teenager, yeah, I wouldn't have went to prison. But anyway, um, you're a great example, bro. You're a great example. I saw the passion in you. Uh, saw you get a little emotional, man. That touched my heart to see that. To see the love you have for Tank. Bro, I, listen, bro, uh, whether I agree with all your decisions, uh, whatever decision you make, the fact that your, bro, you really don't, I'm going to tell you something, you really don't care about, I don't think you care about materialistic things like that, I don't think you care about the limelight, because right now, bro, you one of the hottest trainers in the game, being a trainer of tank, and you could be in a camera every day if you wanted to be, you got love, you got genuine love for tank. Very few trainers have genuine love for their fighter. For that, bro, I got to respect you. I got to give you your respect for that, bro. That touched me. Now, let's get to the press conference. Uh, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Um, but Noah Hopkins is the oldest of boxing. And ain't nobody come to hear you, oldest. But Noah Hopkins came up there looking like the goddamn Undertaker or something. With that dust ass hat on, uh, dressed like he was in the seventies. Um, but no, how can say he's the instigator of boxing? I'ma instigate shit and all that thing. But no, how can I'm just gonna say this, bro? Uh, you the complete opposite of Calvin Ford. You are the complete opposite. Let me tell you something. You even worse than Roy Jones, cause Roy Jones he go to Slovakia and he got a Russian license and a Russian passport to where he can go to Russia and he's a Russian U.S. citizen. But he got black fighters he trained to. You have never put a black fighter on. You ain't never had a black fighter you tried to push, bro. Uh, you making no noise in Philly, bro. Philly could be, and, and really it's these youngsters, Jerron Ennis and Cool Boy Steph, that's setting Philly on fire right now. But you could have set it on fire before then. You could have paid the way for them. You didn't pave no way for them. They had to find their own way. Julian J-Rock had to find his own way. You never vouch for these fighters in Philly, bro. So you get no love and you get no respect. Let me tell you something. You look like Humpin' Bob. Yeah, on life. What was his name? Humpin'? Yeah, Humpin' Bob. What was his name? Yeah, with that. He had that same hat on with that goddamn shotgun. I ain't gonna play with you, Mississippi. <laughs> I ain't gonna take this shit for you, Mississippi. But anyway, um, yeah, I have no respect for it, but no Hopkins. Nothing, another elephant that was in the room. Uh, Tank by himself now. What the fuck is Lena Ellaby doing up there? And not only was you up there, bro, uh, Lena Ellaby was looking like, Lena Ellaby looked like a light-skinned T.D. Jakes. That motherfucker aged 30 years overnight. Uh, what the fuck? 
I see you still got your red tinted uh, shades and shit like that. But, uh, and, you know, normally, I got to be honest, normally you wear fly suits. But you had on an all black, you look like a fucking power barrel. You look like a preacher power barrel. And um, nothing I want to point out about, but Noah Hopkins, Lena LB, and Oscar, because I thought I'd be roasting Oscar. But I got to be honest, Oscar looks sober at this point. <laughs> hey, Oscar really looks sober. I'm going to be honest. It's the most sober. I ain't seen him look this sober since he fought Floyd. But anyway, um, no. Oscar really, he wasn't, I thought I was ready to clown Oscar. Oscar didn't do nothing for me to clown him. Oscar was very professional. But one thing all you motherfuckers kept, let me tell you something. And I got to say this. And it's, and listen, I'm excited about any fight tanking. So I would never diminish the fight. I know it ain't the biggest fight in box, and I know it ain't no mega fight, and it ain't what you motherfuckers say it is, bro. Just stop the cap. And it ain't black versus Mexican because Ryan, Ryan dressed like a white. Ryan is a white boy that got black friends. He got no kind of. I don't even think he knows Spanish. Ryan is. This is a white boy versus a black boy. So this ain't even black and Mexican, bro. Uh. Anyway. Um. Yeah, uh, one thing y'all kept saying, all y'all kept constantly saying, uh, this is the biggest fight in boxing. This is a mega fight, and let's give it the respect. Let me just tell you something, bro. When it's the biggest fight in boxing, you don't have to constantly say that. It would speak for itself, bro. This is a very big fight. Make no mistake about it. Any fight tank in is a very big fight. Hit the Garcia, that was a very big fight. That Mario Barrios fight, wasn't that fight in Atlanta? Yeah, that, that fight was in Atlanta. That was a huge fight. The Leo Santa Cruz versus Tank. That was a huge fight. Yeah, this may be bigger than them, but it ain't the biggest fight in boxing, bro. That's all. Any fight Tank in is huge. So, he's the attraction, bro. But, um, yeah, if it's that big, bro, y'all wouldn't have to keep reminding and trying to remind us that it's the biggest. Um, it lets me know you ain't as confident as you say, bro. Um, tank... Uh, I ain't got much to say about Tank. I didn't say it all what I said. Yeah, you get you let Ryan get in the limelight, and you giving him the chance of his life, and he don't deserve it. Okay, I've said that enough. But as far as Tank, Tank a real fighter. And and you was fly. Shout out to you, man. Shout out to you, man. You came in there with a whole lot of sauce. Tank, Tank mean business, bro. I got I got. I'm gonna tell you something I noticed about Tank. Tank got that shit in him. He's very professional, and he just he 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 is a dog. And he just know when to get off the leash. Yeah, kind of like my dog. My dogs, bro, I real shit. Let it get the rain into goddamn hard and I ain't here. When I get back down on the porch, them motherfuckers know how to get off that leash. <laughs> hey, Tank know when to be on the leash and off the leash. He's very business minded, very professional, but he mean business, bro. Tank going in there to destroy this dude, bro. That's his mindset. He think Ryan ain't shit. That's really how you feel about him. Uh, bro, Ryan, tank, tank, Ryan don't even realize. And I got to be honest. I'm going to tell you some shit. And I'm not going to shit on Ryan. But I will say this, though. That goddamn jacket he had on. That jacket. Let me tell you something. You ever seen Ferris Brugler, uh day off? Remember he was on that. Uh, <laughs> remember he was in that parade. And he was. Come on and shake it up, baby. Twig it up now. Do a little twist. Come on, come on, come on, baby. That's how that, that motherfucker look like Ferris Bugler on his goddamn day off. <laughs> but anyway, besides that, uh, Ryan, uh, Ryan, uh, I, I, I'm gonna say some shit, bro. And I'm, I'm just gonna tell y'all the truth. Ryan is happy, bro. He, you can see it in it. Look how much he smiled. Now, he gonna come to fight. But I'm just telling you, he's so happy. Ryan is so happy. And I'm not going to ever shit on Ryan again. That boy happy. He finna get the biggest check of his life. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't never want to knock another man getting money. Even though you don't deserve a fight with Tank at this stage in your career. And you duck Devin. So that's why I've been saying you don't deserve it. But as a man, hey, shout out to you for getting your money, Pimpin. Um... But yeah, as a fight, you happy as shit, bro. You you not mad at all. There was no anger. You tried. To, you ever seen a motherfucker try to pump himself up to get mad before he fight? That's what he was doing when they was facing out. Ryan couldn't get mad. 
Tank was really talking shit to him. Ryan was talking shit back out of, I got to talk shit back to you because I look like a, if I don't, I'm going to tell you some real shit that I seen in that face off. Ryan scared of Tank. You can be scared of a motherfucker and fight him. I'm just going to tell you, that Ryan's, I didn't, I didn't know he was. I, Cause I, let me take, look at all this interview post fights. Come on, Tank. I'm going to knock you out in the second round. And he ain't saying that second round shit no more. Yeah, yeah, little boy. He was saying all kind of when he got in tank face, none of that energy was there. Because I, I ain't gonna lie, I was expecting fireworks. I was expecting them to have to be separated. I thought Ryan was gonna push him and probably big face him. Because I thought Ryan wasn't gonna have respect for Tank. Tank uh Ryan not only has respect for Tank, he's scared of him. He's scared of him, bro. I want y'all to really look at that body and how them little fake ass smiles and how he tried to look serious. And if you ain't scared of him, he's definitely intimidated. I think sometimes, you know, energy is real. I don't know if you ever been in the presence of a real dog and you don't know if you a dog because Ryan don't know yet if he a dog, but he was in the presence of a real dog. And I think the presence and the energy that he got from Tank, it, it fucked him up. He wasn't expecting it. He, he really wasn't expecting how serious Tank was. Tank was really serious. And I got to give him credit. Tank ain't playing for the camera. That's another thing I want to say. He's not putting on, this is Tank. He is who he is. I got to say, he's not faking. He's not trying to be something he's not. He he mean business, bro. And he confident in skill. So, uh, I, I want to make sure, no matter how much I've corrected and said about Tank, I'm a huge Tank fan, bro. I really, really fuck with that dude, bro. And I think he's special. Tank is special. Tank, Shakur, Devin, don't fight a special, bro. They special. So now, nah. but I'm going to criticize you if you do weird shit. And so that's that go for any fighter. But anyway, um, uh, Ryan gonna have to really. I'm telling you, bro. I know you happy you getting that check and Tank 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 ain't playing with him, bro. Tank ain't playing with him, man. Uh, I'm gonna follow this shit real close. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to see the next press conference. Because I know some Ryan finna have to He finna have to re, He gonna have to um, What's that shit that That girl used to say I'm yum Yeah red girl I'm numb You gonna have to do some shit like that Or meditate Look in the mirror and say I think I can I think I can Because right now Ryan got discouraged In that face off So you gonna have to get A little more confidence in you And come back at the Next press conference A little more aggressive With a little more goddamn confidence But yeah This gonna be a very good fight It's very interesting and yeah, I'm going to call the fight. I'm going to watch the fight. I will pay for that fight. I will support that fight. And so, yeah, this is 903 Boxing. I am your host, Charles Jack. With that, I'm out.